The Super Falcons of Nigeria back in the country after their exit from the 2023 FIFA Women's World Cup. The nine-time African champions were knocked out of the competition in the round of 16 by England and landed at the Muritala Mohamed International Airport from Australia on Wednesday. The team arrived in Nigeria without coach Randy Waldrum and some of the players who left Australia for their respective bases. Players who left with Waldrum include the U.S. Uh, con uh, the U.S. Uh, a contingent of Michelle Alozie, Jennifer Echigini, Esther Okoronko, a former Onomono, Deborah Abionu, and uh, Tony Payne. While former Leicester City defender Ashley Plumter flew directly to the United Kingdom. As a set of Shara, Rashida Tajibade, um, uh, Osinachi Ohale, Chiamaka Nadozi, a gift on Monday, and Rufia Timura were part of the team received at the airport by the NFF board member Ganyu Majakodumi, uh, who is the chairman. Uh, uh, chairman of the Lagos State Sports Council, Fuad Oki, and uh, author dignitaries. I feel very happy and I feel grateful for this uh, opportunity. You know, it's not, it's not easy. You know, um, kudos to all the Super Falcons players. You know, we fought till the, till the very end of this tournament for us. It's not the end of the World Cup, but it's the end of the World Cup for the Super Falcons. So I would say we, we worked really hard and we fought really hard to get to that level. The penalty is a game of luck. The, the England players who took the penalties, they were good penalty takers. Yeah, wearing the captain band, um, it was a pride. Um, I was so proud of myself and, um, you know, it, it gave me a lot of responsibilities also to lead the team and I was happy I did. The world already saw what we are capable of and um, they should expect more from us. It was a great experience. Um, I'm happy with the team, I'm happy with the way we performed. Um, it was just um, unfortunate that we didn't make it out of the round of 16. Um, but how we how we play like is something I'm proud of and every team, everybody gave gave their best to make sure that we make Nigerians proud and we can see the result from the welcome. Our dream to keep um, to make Nigerians proud and to keep smile on their faces. They can still bring in some younger players to support this team because keeping this team for another four years, believe me, they will surpass even the round of 16 quarterfinals and because we here we understand ourselves and it will be best best for the NFF to you know support this team, you know, to make this team great, to support them and you know to you know provide whatsoever we need, you understand, that will make this team to be the best that they really want.